Uh, excuse me. Are you okay? Uh, it, it's okay if you don't want to talk. I just saw you crying and I don't think I could live with myself if I didn't ask if you were okay. Uh, I even have an emergency sad kit. Uh, see? There's tissues, uh, a flash drive with a terabyte of cute animals, and the finest, highest quality apple juice boxes. <laughs> There's a little smile. It's a very pretty one. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. I have a few nervous tics, and one of them is laughing when in appropriate times. Uh, uh, you, you get it. Uh, n no, it's not a bother. I honestly had no idea how I was gonna spend this afternoon, and it might sound weird, but I don't think I could have asked for a better gift from Fade. But, but yeah, if you want to talk... <clears throat> oh no... I... I can't believe he dumped you on your birthday like that. Jeez. <laughs> the guy sounds like one of those dumb jock bullies from 80s movies. I... I am sorry, though. What a crappy thing to do to someone. Okay, hear me out. Well, first, my name is Jacob. Nice to meet you. Second... That's a beautiful name, and someone should paint it so they hang it in the Louvre. Third, and most importantly, how about I take you out for the afternoon? It's your birthday, after all. No pressure, of course. I'll give you my number. You can share it with a friend and let them know what I look like and where we're at. <laughs> it's probably weird that I know all of that, right? Well, I'm a trauma counselor, so I guess it's just been beaten into my head over the years. Well, you saved my number. That's a good sign, right? <laughs> Excellent. Let us see where fate takes us. I cannot believe you managed to finish that massive steak all by yourself. Like, holy hell, that was so badass. <laughs> Saved us like a hundred dollars off the bill at that fancy steakhouse too. You're a keeper, my dear. You are a keeper. Drunk ice skating too. I mean, my ass is gonna hurt for a week, but <laughs> I think it was worth it. I hope your day got a bit better. <laughs> Um, a uh, hug? Hey, uh, you're crying again. Shh, shh, it's okay. Here, let me wipe those tears away. There, there. Mm, your tears are. Tell me it's okay. Pretty please? Please, 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 please. Oh, thank you, thank you. Now, hold still. I know how to be gentle, but I have a tongue piercing that can cause some irritation. There we go. I'm just gonna use my tongue and gently... Mm, lap these tears up. Mm. <laughs> I was just gonna ask you if... You maybe wanted to hang out again sometime? G great! I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> Seeing you again, you know. <laughs> Even with gym training, moving is still a massive pain in the ass, huh? <laughs> That's alright. I can give you a nice massage later, you can give me one, and 
then we can complain about how we're both bad at it. <laughs> mm, come here for a second. Mm? Hey there, sweetheart. You, uh, live here often? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, baby. Are those happy tears? I'm so glad. May I? Thank you, darling. Here, some nice gentle kisses against those luscious lashes. I don't want to miss a single tear. Ah, uh, no squirming, silly. Fine, fine. Let me just roll my tongue along your cheek. Mm, oh, wow. <sighs> Happy tears are sublime. Uh, yes, sweetie. I really, really enjoyed that. You've done so well these last seven months. Your health has improved. You've gotten a lot more raises and bonuses from work. And he who shall not be named just vanished off the face of the earth. I'm proud of you. I really am. And I'm really going to kiss your forehead right now. Mwah. <laughs> I'm so glad I could help make things better for you, my love. Oh? I didn't mean the caliber of my boyfriendhood or friend who is a boy, but thanks. <laughs> no, see, creatures like me help in different ways. We don't ruin the sanctity of someone's mind. We go to the source of the hurt, the aggressor. Hmm? Oh. I did... I did say creature, didn't I? Huh. <laughs> well, I guess there's no point in hiding it, is there? Even if you act surprised or scared, I know the truth. My everything. You didn't even flinch when I fed the night we met. Mm-hmm. That's right. Tears are my only food group. Look up at me, sweetie. Oh, thank you, baby. I'm glad you like my natural eyes. Kind of like looking up at the night sky, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Can I have a little kiss? <laughs> Thank you, love. Oh, you still look curious. What am I? What the hell is my boyfriend for 800? Well, I'm called a taket or taker. Long story short, we live off of tears, so we're drawn to comfort people. The feeding doesn't hurt. In fact, most people feel very euphoric after. And no, we won't abuse, hurt, or torment to make people cry. We're rather solitary usually. We don't make friends and we don't mate for life. <laughs> Observant dove. Yes, that would make it unusual that I've been such a strong, caring, dependable boyfriend, wouldn't it? Here's the conundrum the issue as it were the thing that's been driving me fucking crazy for seven months now taket do not love but i am in love with you i'm wrapped in a feeling of ease of of trust and gods am i addicted to your body darling mm. <laughs> you've got quite the spaced out smile maybe you're addicted to me as well hmm? even better here let me show you the absolute madness you've inspired over the months. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, taquettes don't usually love. I don't know if it's different for you humans, but it set me ablaze, inside and out. Anything I do for you makes me feel in absolute ecstasy. Cooking dinner, bringing you gifts, and other things. <laughs> Darling, do you remember my dark room? Mm-hmm. The one I told you you couldn't enter? <laughs> yeah. Take a look. <laughs> it's just jars with eyeballs in them, my love. Don't fret. Uh, see? Isn't this one... This, this blue one familiar? <laughs> yeah, it's the X. 
normally if we go that far, we take one eye to stop the hurt the person we're taking from is inflicted. With that guy, I think I got a little carried away. <laughs> I've just never felt so, so violent towards something, especially not another living thing. And thing is an accurate descriptor for him. How did I do it? Oh, love, surely you can guess. <laughs> I use my tongue. He? Uh, it's about seven inches long and has a hook under the tip here. Just poke it under the eyelid, hook the nerve, and pop. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh, except for the screaming, I guess. But see what I'll do for you? Your ex, your cousin that hurt you growing up, your estranged mother, even your boss. I've caged all that pain in these jars. So, what do you think, dar- uh, Darling? What you doing? Did I scare you, baby? Aw, I'm sorry. I'll put the jars away and we'll get some takeout. And don't worry about saying thank you. I know you're grateful. Now, would you please let me out? Baby doll, come on. This doesn't have to be a big thing. I still love you and I know you still love me. So please move the table, okay? I'm not mad. <laughs> Good prank, sweetie. Man, though, I am starving. Oh, I know I ate already, but you're so hard to resist, my sweet. And you're crying such pretty tears right now. Ooh, a bit of fear in these. And hopelessness? <laughs> you're such a great actor, my love. Come on, let's head down to the lazy couch, cuddle up, and I'll take care of those tears, okay? Here, I'll carry you. <laughs> love you too, cutie. I'm glad you saw reason. I don't want to have to take one of those beautiful eyes for myself. Well, most of the time, anyway. <laughs>